I've always wanted to make this kind of video as a builder because my love for building has helped me improve and change plenty of things in my world that made it a lot better and feel personalized without the need for mods or resource packs. So in this video, I'll share some of my builds that can help turn your Minecraft world aesthetically beautiful. Starting with the dirt pathway, it's a no-brainer when it comes to detailing or improving your world as these are one of the essentials when you're building and it doesn't have to be fancy or perfect. Using different blocks can help with the shading and detailing and you can achieve this really nice looking pathway. Whether it's a cobblestone path or a brick pavement, small things like this can help bloom things up. Speaking of small things, it's always nice to leave out tiny details like a fallen log which helps set the mood and the overall feel of the environment and makes your surroundings realistic. And I'm all about the details so I went ahead and placed a mushroom on top of the log using a set block command and I'm happy with the overall look. Since we are making Minecraft look aesthetic, I'm also gonna include this wishing well which is perfect for filling in the gaps in the forest or if you're looking for something to match the aesthetic vibe in your world. As much as possible, I've used all blocks that are easy to get in survival and made it look simple and easy for you to build. If you want to make it look even more detailed, you can add levers on the side and connect it to a fence using a debug stick. I've placed the command of the debug stick in the description so you can just copy and paste it. Next up are the bird fountain and this is for all the pet parrot owners. So if you own a parrot, you can place this beside your house and it's very cheap to make as it only uses cobblestones and some spruce planks. If you have a small farm, adding a scarecrow can help personalize the space and adds a bit of realism. All you need is an oak fence, a flower pot, a spruce trap door, one armor stand with a leather tunic, and a pumpkin, making you a scarecrow wearing a straw hat. Making your own artificial pond is one of the best ways to improve your world. I think everyone would agree because it parts with nature and its simplistic look. I want to keep the pond small and compact but depending on your space, you can make it big however you want. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. The more details, the better. So you want to place different varieties of blocks like a stone, cobblestone, sand, something that can make the pond appear more natural, smooth, and defined. You want to avoid the specks of dirt in the pond that would ruin the look and fully cover the pond with just stones. After detailing the pond, it should look like this. Something that can make your pond look more natural is adding cattails and lily pads everywhere. As much as possible, you want to add something to the pond as this makes it look unique and more realistic. As I said, the more details, the better results. You can add corals to yours, and don't forget to add some fish to give it some life. If you have a river in your world that's not deep enough, you can add shallow rocks and stepping stones as this can fill in the empty spaces at the bottom of the river. I use different varieties of stone for this one such as cobblestone, andesite, and some walls to add some texture to it. And as much as possible, you want to place a ton of stones that almost covers the bottom of the river. Here's the river before and after adding the rocks. Now I really love the background of the river as it's very calming and relaxing just hearing the sounds of the flowing water. And what better way to enjoy the scene than by setting up a picnic spot. For this, I made a classic textile cloth using a loom. It's a lot better than the red and white plaid, and it brings in a more unique approach into it. Then I added the basket, a mini table, 
some flower pots, and a cake to finish the look. Here is the overall look of the picnic spot. I want to include this overgrown van design that I made a few months ago, and there's something about it that makes it feel natural whenever I see it. I'm guessing it's because of its overgrown look, and it's the perfect opportunity to build it in this video and show you how I made this. So I took inspiration from Volkswagen vans called the Transporter, and it was the design and the classic look of it that I fell in love with. It looks aesthetic from my point of view, so it was the perfect choice for this video. For the van's framework, I used oxidized copper as the colors are spot on to the look I'm going for, a touch of orange glazed terracotta for the design, then an iron block, iron trapdoor, and quartz slab for the roof. For the finishing touches, I added glow lichens and vines to the side of the van to capture that overgrown look and added the front decorations of the van using levers and a black stone button. To top it off, I included the Volkswagen logo in front using a structure void and we now have the finished van. You can also build this without the torn down overgrown look as it works well as a vehicle for your city and changing the colors also gives you a variety of designs to choose from. Then we have the mushrooms. It's a better version of the mushroom we used to see in the dark forest biome except now it's a little smaller and well designed. I used dripstones for the stem to add some textures to it, then a mushroom block for the mushroom itself. It's up to you how big you want the mushroom to be. I also added some red carpet on top to give it some depth, and some weeping vines for extra details. I decided to add another mushroom beside it to give it some variety and I'm happy with the outcome. Brown mushroom will work as well with the help of debug stick and combining them completes the overall aesthetic of the mushrooms. Lastly are the apple trees which you can do to most oak trees to add some variations and customize the tree. I used an invisible item frame to do this which I left the command down in the description so you can copy and paste. It looks simple and it works if you want an apple, you can just take one from the tree. I hope the builds I showed you today will help you in achieving the aesthetic look you wanted for your world and comment down below which one's your favorite. Special thanks to the Discord members for sending me some fan arts. I left a link to my Discord alongside my other socials down in the description. Thanks for watching, take care, bye bye.